and they want to bite out the back. They're just. That wave didn't suck. Uh, did not. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Welcome back to yet another episode. Feels good to like continue this whole weekly video series. And yet another swell for the fifth week in a row. It's big and unfortunately the winds are a little dicey today, but I'm out here trying to find something. I, I feel like it's at a borderline manageable size and I think somewhere could be doable, but we gotta get on that early because that wind's gonna come up and it'll kind of, that might be it for us. This, this is not looking like the swell to be in Hatteras for. I stayed because it's been an epic month. I don't need to go chasing waves anywhere. But yeah, we're just gonna have to see how it turns out. It's like hiking a ridge in some foreign land. I'm gonna get up here and do a super dramatic selfie. Slow mo. Y'all ready? That's enough screwing around for now. Part of check and surf, being a surfer, whatever, you get a good workout in, especially when you check spots like this. It's a pretty far walk from the car to the waves. You check two, three, four spots like this, it's a good warm up before you paddle out to surf. So I've checked a handful of spots now, and as I keep making my way further north up the island, it gets smaller, which is good because down south was completely unmanageable. It was too big, it was just washing through, like nowhere was good. There's gotta be somewhere that's good. So it looks like not gonna be surfing today. I knew that was a possibility when I decided to stay here instead of chasing the swell somewhere else. Due to the fact that this morning's just too big and this afternoon's supposed to have pretty side short wind. But we'll see how the winds pan out. And until then, I'm gonna run home because yesterday I got two pretty interesting boxes. Let's go open those up and see what's inside. Maybe we can put them to use. Oh, hey. Right. Just found this in the sand. Clean that puppy up. Nice sting silver. Bluefish, Spanish. Hook's a little rusted, but not, you know, put a new hook on there and it's not bad. You gotta secure your tackle, guys. Can't be letting this stuff happen. Could have put a hole in someone's tire. Now I'm gonna put a hole in a fish's lip with it this spring. <laughs> that was so corny. Welcome to the world of Brett and bad jokes. Dad jokes, as Jeffrey O'Neill says. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to the house. Well, the waves are too big and the wind is too south and it is what it is. But you know what? It has warmed up outside, which means there's likely bass biting. And you know what? This big box is, it's from Lunker Hunt. So I'm super excited to open it. This one's from Loose Towels. Really excited for this one too, but it kind of only works for surfing. So we'll open this first, get out of the way, then move to the glory box. I got this pocket knife from my dad. It was my granddad's. It's pretty sweet. So, oh, what do we got here? Surf towel. Skull and crossbones, loose logo all over a black towel. Todd Glazer towel, looks like an underwater shot of a guy on a wave. Towels aside, they also have their poncho towel. I'll just go ahead and throw this thing on here. Just super wild and crazy, I love it. It's a towel, fun feels better, right? Why not? It's time to open up the lure box from Lunker Hunt. Let me take this off. So excited triple taped. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I'm more than grateful to put this product to use. So let me go ahead and organize everything and then I can, you know, cover the basics. Wow. From pocket frogs to popping frogs to crankbaits, 
jerk baits, jigs, spinner bait. We got the prop series from the prop fish to the prop frog. Worms and tubes and, oh, well, yep. More crank baits, more prop frogs. Can't thank you guys enough. So excited to go put this to use. It's warm, it's sunny, it's nice outside. Let's, I'm gonna reorganize my tackle box. Let's get out of here and go try and find some fish. Well, I just got here to pond number one. I don't know whether I should go finesse or crankbait. I'm gonna decide, switch to the GoPro. Dang it. I like walked up all aggressive and spooked him. If you can pond hop as hard as we have and not catch but one fish, it's obviously not a good day. Oh, whoa. Something just hit over here. Got him. Got him. Oh, he's nice too. Oh my. Oh man, he's all wrapped up in that tree. I just saw him hit over there. Yeah. Big, huh? He's massive. Not massive. I would guess a pound and a half. Caught him on the drop shot worm, but using it Texas style. Works in these uh, tight little ponds. All right, skunk's off. Yeah, pretty guy. Get him back in there. Oh, there he goes. Good deal. All right, that's it for me. This guy literally just said, my problem is I don't get any bites. I didn't caught this thing. That was a cool bite the in the shallow. <laughs> that about wraps it up for today. Oh man, other than this wave. Look at that big right. Oh, I didn't even really pumped to open up that box from Lunker Hunt and go put some of those lures to the test. The bite was so slow though. I mean, we fished four different ponds and finally on the last one, uh, we each managed to fish. I slipped into a hole when I was wading in my boots earlier. I looked and we we're only, oh, oh. Nope, just stepped in a hole. I've been walking around with wet pants and feet for a couple hours now. I'm gonna go home, get changed get some food and regroup and hope that tomorrow turns on. I'll show you guys a couple of these waves coming in and I'll see you in the morning. It's enormous. About to make my first peek at the waves. Really hoping it's on. Oh. It's gonna be on somewhere. Just in the time I drove from one spot to the next, the wind is like already starting to turn more south. That wave didn't suck. No, it did not. <laughs> successful fun session. Now it's time to get some food. So we're gonna eat here at Bros and then just go find somewhere that's a little cleaner.
wrapped up a little session in the lighthouse. It was super chunky. Air wind, a couple little head dips, nothing crazy other than I tried really hard to do a backflip. I caught like a waist high wave and was screwing around and tried one and like almost did it. And so then after that, every single wave I caught, I tried one and tried, tried. We are gonna head up to Pea Island now in hopes of finding some cleaner waves for an evening sesh. See how it goes. And I found a spot that looks really fun. Little wedging tubes and air sections right on the beach. No one around. Here we go. Well, it's 7.50. My day started over 14 hours ago, but I'm too tired to sit here and think about what happened yesterday and today. I'm gonna go home to see my wife and have some dinner at probably like nine at night because <laughs> I'm 40 minutes from home. I'll sign you guys off tomorrow. <sighs> Once I can think. Yeah. No? Uh -uh. Oh, let's go. First cast. Oh. oh man, he's warm. It was super toasty out here earlier. I was at the house editing and finally got to leave right when the front moved in and it went from 70 degrees to 55. But that's okay. Still fish biting. Let him go. So that about wraps up the month of March. Pretty epic to have five swells in one month. Not uncommon to have that many days to surf, but very uncommon to have that many days of big waves or significant swells. So it was really cool, it was kind of exhausting, but that's part of it. And now it looks like it just, like a light switch, went from pumping to now the forecast looks pretty dim. That's fine by me, I'm excited for some warm weather, although this evening is not that. Tomorrow looks nice and I'm hoping I can, you know, try and go fish or whatever. And then the next day I think it's gonna rain, which is really good for bass fishing. So maybe we can uh, make something happen. For those of you who are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. For those of you who've been following along, thank you. This has been a blast and it's just gonna keep going. So you guys have a good weekend. I'm going to go try and catch another fish. Oh, you know what? I'm going home to drink some coffee because it's cold gray and I'm tired. <laughs> See y'all in a couple days.